This is a sea bream found in the Mediterranean Sea and it's very popular in Mediterranean cooking. We will barbecue this fish in three different ways. We will start by asking our fishmonger for the right cut and clean. We are looking for cleaning the scales, cutting the fins and opening the back just like that. That's what we need for barbecuing fish. Completely cleaning the inside, leaving the meat and cutting the tip of the tail. Now if you are skilled in cutting fish you can definitely do this by yourself but I prefer to tell the fishmonger to do it for me. In this first method we need to marinate the fish using the following spices salt, black pepper, coriander powder and turmeric powder. We will dissolve these spices using freshly squeezed lemon juice just like that. For this size of fish which is about half a kilo I used a tablespoon of each spice and a juice of two small yellow lemons or one large lemon. Mix all the spices together. Before starting to marinate the fish we're gonna start cutting some slots into the outside skin to help the spice penetrate and get inside. We will do that on both sides of the fish. In this next step I highly recommend wearing some rubber gloves unless you don't mind having yellow fingers for the next few days because of the turmeric. Pour the spice lemon mixture all over the fish inside and outside just like that. Cover and let the fish sit in the marinade for at least one hour, keeping it in the fridge. While the fish marinate for an hour, we will turn our attention to the herb mixture that will cover the fish during barbecuing. For that we're gonna need about two red onions, half green pepper, some garlic, parsley, dill and cumin seed powder. With that we will be needing some date paste and tamarind paste. This just to give us that nice sweet and sour taste with the fish. If you cannot find date paste in your area you can definitely use 
date molasses and tamarind paste just make sure that when you mix them together you achieve the perfect sweet and sour taste we will start by chopping the red onions into cubes whenever you're using this recipe just make sure that you have an equal amount of red onions to green peppers that's why we are using just a half pepper because we want the onions and the green pepper to be equal when it comes to cutting the green peppers make sure that you remove the white part we don't want it in our recipe we just want the greens and make sure that you cut them equally to the red onions equal in size in this recipe I used about half head of garlic I crushed the garlic cloves with the back of my knife just like that and then I chopped them really really finely let's go to the stove and start cooking we will start by adding some neutral oil here I'm using canola oil once the oil is hot enough we will add the red onions and the green pepper both will take the same time to cook we will continue to cook them until they soften slightly once they reach the stage we will add in the garlic next we will add in the herbs here we're adding the dill notice that we only add the leaves no stem same with the parsley we're only adding the leaves we don't want any stem also worth noting in this recipe we don't really need to chop them we just need to tear them to release the flavor so just a tiny tear with your hand should be enough cooking the green leaves should not take that long after cooking for a few minutes add in the salt and the cumin powder mix that well then add in the tamarind paste and the dates paste try to adjust them to your preferred taste here I'm adding them separately because I know the taste that I like I know how much to add for first timers I highly recommend that you add them separately together mix in the tamarind paste and the date paste taste it and adjust the sweetness sourness to your liking and then adding it to the mixture because you will be wrapping the fish with this mixture you need it to be sticky and with this consistency once it becomes like this turn off the heat and let it cool completely once it cools down 
this is what it's gonna look like. Lay down large enough piece of tin foil to cover the fish completely and spread the mixture on it just like that. Then add in your fish to the top of the mixture just like that and cover it completely. Have your fish in the middle of the tin foil so you can cover half of it from the top and half of it from the bottom so you can close it tight. Once you cover it completely like that, close in the tin foil and get ready to go barbecuing. Add in the barbecue handle to make turning the fish easy during cooking. When it comes to barbecuing you don't want the fires to be too hot so once they reach this ash gray color it's good to go. You can put on the fish. Here I'm making room for the fish to be on top of the coal. Put it on top of the coal and let it cook for at least 10 minutes on each side. Flip the fish after 10 minutes just like that and cook on the other side for another 10 minutes. Ready for the reveal? This is the final result. For this recipe, we can definitely serve the top layer of date molasses and the tamarind paste with the fish. You can just scrape it together or you can scrape it off just like what I'm doing. It is definitely edible depending on how much you want of it little or covered as for serving suggestions you can definitely have this on its own or if you prefer you can have it with some pita bread I hope you enjoyed this recipe if you have any questions or comment Please leave them below and we're ready to move to the next style of barbecuing. For the second method of barbecuing there are some similarities and some differences. The similarity is the fishmonger will have to cut the fish the same way as before so there is no difference there. As for the spices we will only be using herbs. This is the difference. We need basil, rosemary, thyme and sage. Salt and pepper to taste 
and one lemon we will start by opening the fish and adding salt and pepper just on the inside of the fish once you're happy with all the seasoning of salt and pepper we start adding the herbs here it might seem there are too many herbs but somehow this mixture works so well with fish add as little or as much as you like here I'm adding some sage followed by some rosemary thyme you don't have to strip the leaves of the thyme you can leave them as a whole but I prefer to strip them because I want them to be covered all over the fish now for the final herb basil tear up the leaves and add them in for the lemon we will cut it into slices about half an inch thick and put them inside the fish finish off with a drizzle of olive oil inside the fish and outside the fish make sure you cover the fish well with olive oil for the foil part make sure that you have a large enough piece to cover the fish add in some olive oil in the middle a bed of parsley leaves and stem and all put the fish on top of the bed of parsley and cover it again with parsley bury it completely now you're ready to close in the foil Now we add in the barbecue handle for easy turning. Now we are ready to head outside and cook on the cob. Cooking fish does not take a long time. 10 minutes on each side. Once the 10 minutes is up, it's time to turn. 10 minutes on the other side. After the 20 minutes of cooking, this is the result. Here, for decoration purposes only, I am adding some basil leaves and lemon, slices of lemon. As you can clearly see, the parsley part is not edible. The parsley has done its purpose and it should be discarded before serving. Now I will let you on a little secret. 
this is my favorite way to eat sea bream so if you're looking for one method to do I would highly recommend to go with this one as for serving suggestions you can definitely serve this fish with pasta with rice sourdough bread on its own it's perfect in every way if you have any questions or comment please feel free to leave them below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and sharing the video with any seafood lovers and now we are ready for the final way to barbecue fish let me start by saying that the third and final method did not come out as expected just to let you know I will tell you where I went wrong throughout the video we will start by seizing the fish here we went with a simple salt and pepper mixture here is one way where we went wrong not adding enough support I thought those bamboo sticks would support the fish but you need a stronger type of wood you need to stick it through pierce it through the skin and just above the bone like this now do the same next to it but I recommend using a thicker and a stronger piece of bamboo so it can stand in the fire that's it now you're ready for barbecuing let's head outside here is the other way where I went wrong thinking that the sand bit on the barbecue would be enough to hold the fish in place well it wasn't deep enough and the fish was not holding so I had to do something and add the support at the back I recommend as well wearing heat proof gloves my hand was burning after successfully balancing the fish it should stand something like this mine was not successful there was a part in the sand it should be above the sand in case you are wondering what it should look like it should look like something like this Compared to this, not exactly the success that I wanted, but you get the idea. Continue cooking the fish until you can see it that it's been cooked from the inside. This particular cooking method took longer than expected. It took me about 20 minutes to reach optimal cooking once you get the orange glaze the fish is ready start removing it
take out the bamboo stick and you're ready to serve. Serving suggestion for this fish is definitely with beta bread and only beta bread. This is what it looks like on the other side. Thank you all for watching till the end. If you have any questions or comment, please feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up, it really helps us out, and sharing the video with the seafood lovers. See you on the next video, bye for now.